Hello fight fans, welcome to Vossi Blossom guys, if you need to turn click the like and subscribe on the man. And also go subscribe to my personal YouTube channel at Raymond FL Vitamin. Search for it on YouTube. Uh, go to the YouTube uh, search option and then just <clears throat> uh, search for the name, man. So, uh, well, I just made a very, um, very controversial statement, I must say. Uh, I must say that. Um, he believes, okay, or he thinks that Joshua cannot beat Andrews Jr. in a rematch. Let's listen to what he had to say before we proceed. You know, I'm going to actually give my personal opinion and, of course, thoughts on that because that's what I do. Okay, analyze fights and analyze uh, controversial, okay, uh, statements like this. And, you know, I'm a very patriotic uh, guy I support our Nigerian fighters worldwide man but that doesn't mean I'm not going to speak my mind when someone or one of them say something that is very very controversial okay man stay tuned for that like um, like you said uh, let me just say this because you know this everywhere division right now it's like Joshua wants to fight very much with Edwin uh, Lewis, you know, so I don't, I don't, I don't think Joshua can beat Andy Lewis because he needs to change his boxing craft. Mm. Because the way he fight, he like he wants to, he lost to fight. Right. He lost to fight short people. You right. have a height. Keep distance on him, you know. So he wants to. The best punch that Joshua has is the uppercut. And 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 now that you said that, he said that he don't like to fight short fighters. He would rather fight tall fighters. Do you think that's you know? What do you think about that? Him saying that. Say it again. He said he don't like to fight short fighters. He likes to fight tall fighters. Yes, that's what Anthony he Joshua to fight. That's why. That's why he lost the fight. Yeah. Trust me, he lost the fight. If he keep working on this job, mm -hmm. he be like he will give he will give him problem. But Joshua doesn't use this job on his face. Right. He always go to the body. Right. So you see, uh, 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 you see Andy Lewis and uh, Joseph Parker fight. You watch the fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you see how the fight goes because Joseph Parker used the job. Right. He keep him away. Right. Like you throw a lot of combination punches, because in every way boxing, like they throw only one punch. Right. That's not supposed to be. You have to compare combination punches. You know, so that's what Edwin Lewis do to Joshua. Right, right. He used, like he throw six punches on Joshua. So that's why, you know, so that's boxing. You know, you need to. Word, word, word. You heard it from the Nigerian monster. You know, I mean, uh, I feel Jack was saying that, listen, he does not believe or think the unified heavyweight king of the universe and the Joshua beats and the Regina in a rematch because Joshua uh, throws a jab to the body instead of to the to the face. Uh, he punched to the body, you know, what I mean, uh, too much. He did not use a jab um, a lot. Um, during the bout, you know, what I mean, so he's just giving his own thoughts and opinion. Listen. Uh, yeah, I think uh, if your Jagba is partially right, man, partially right, okay, partially right. Uh, but let's take a look at Anthony Joshua recent uh trainee video clip uh, before we actually break everything down, man, you know, including the Jagba statement. Uh, let's take a, a look at that, man, right here. Well, as you can tell, Joshua has learned from his mistake and he's trying to correct it. You can tell looking at this 
this uh, short cl uh, training clip uh some of you will say where well, was this was this, that just normal you know why is he punching up instead of downwards you know what i mean some people uh, you know uh tend to you know criticize everything the champ does you know because they hate him uh because they feel like uh he, you know he's he's too blessed uh i mean it's just jealousy man some people are just uh you know demo demonic uh we say demonic uh in their thinking man especially when they see someone else is uh progressing at a fast pace compared to their lives their useless lives you know l l listen I'm not a humble guy. I never told the guy I'm a humble guy like Joshua. Uh, because BBC is humble, but BBC can also be very, very harsh. Now, you can tell that Joshua has learned a lot from that fight. And also, Joshua did not take that fight serious. And even if he took it serious, we already know that the the, the, the sparring that all called uh, Hey Days prior to the bout, in, in which we're, in which he got knocked down, by uh, Joey Daweko, though Joey Daweko uh, has refused to, you know, say anything about it, man, because for him, what happened in sparring stays in sparring. He believes that he's an elite fighter. He believes that in the future he will become uh, an heavyweight champion. I highly doubt that. I highly doubt that Joey Daweko will become an heavyweight champion and uh, not in this era because there are killers coming right now, Rafael Akbejore. You know he's there and you have a fair jaguar you have a uh, effort to apoche i know he's a cruiserweight but steve very very um very talented and might move up in the future you never know uh yes yeah, small everweight is small everweight but look just look at Reyes jr he's a small everweight as well you know small everweights are coming up as well and they're ready to to go in against giants and monsters uh, like the likes of joshua water fury you know, Efe Jagba, Dene Duboha, and Egovic, or all the guys, man. It's just, it's just interesting that their division is popping right now, and all times to go to Anthony, Olua, Femelo, and Joshua, because it's the only one that single-handedly, single-handedly, you know, uplifted the every division into a mega, a mega, mega, mega scenario, man. And we've got to give him pros for that but some people would not agree they would say shit about that and say wow wow joshua did nothing because you know to, to them do everything joshua does is, is bad bad so after jabba keeping it real as well saying that listen doesn't believe joshua beats uh Ruth jr in the rematch that joshua needs to learn more on his craft listen i i disagree okay i disagree and i agreed okay i disagree because i feel like joshua based region in the room match and i feel like joshua will actually learn from his mistake in that fight and come more prepared and more more hungry uh, the more with more energy with more willingness to win and conquer the mexican uh butter bean okay so that's just the fact man whether you like it or not that's how it is and i also ag i agree you know i disagree to, i disagree to agree i agree uh with some of our jugbo statement when he said joshua did not use the jab to the face you know in that fight he should have at least you know use that he always go to the body and he wants to fight with short of fires you don't fight with short of fires you stick the jab to your face you know, man that's all you do with short of fires and ajagba is very right because remember when he fought rodney Hernandez, uh this guy um let me show you guys really not this a mexican fighter as well listen a mexican fighter uh a guy who is very 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 good i have to say but still a little listen still a little father you know when he fought this guy that was on a job was i think second bout or third bout i don't know let me look at it third bout yeah so when he fought this guy Ernie Hernandez, he went through hell this guy Ernie Hernandez gave a job by hell when i mean hell he gave him hell 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 okay <laughs> I love in Chinese, but he gave him hell, hell, hell. So when he fought this guy, 
what Ajakba did was to keep a jab on his face every time. This is what I wanted Onoda what he meant, aka uh, the Godzilla to do. But what he meant, you know, uh, got consumed uh, by the atmosphere in America because he's never boasted in America before. So that was his US debut. And uh, he got consumed by it and made a slight mistake and he paid for it. Because he never saw the punch coming. Listen, I talked to Warimei, he told me that he didn't. He never saw the punch coming. He wanted to take his time and stop this guy in a third round or second round. Because we know Warimei beat this guy. He beats him all day, all day long. But Warimei made a very, uh, a very slight mistake and did not actually... Uh, I mean, you know, the, I just say the atmosphere go to, you know, me, uh, America, huh? America is different according to what people say, listen, I don't live there, but people say it's different there, things are different, things are more weird, so weird things happen there, and all sort of good things happen there, weird things happen there, bad stuff happen there, you know, we're seeing on TV, we see that, we see movies, you know, movies don't really believe it, but some weird stuff really happened in America, man, so you cannot... Everything you want in America, the bad stuff out there, the good stuff out there, just depend on how you want to live your life and what you want to do with your life. So, Ronnie Hernandez, a guy I would like Akbajori to fight in the future, or maybe next. People are saying next, but I believe that Akbajori can fight this guy next year. Not this year, next year. Maybe next year he can fight him and knock him out, uh, you know. Akbajori, when he fights this guy, I would like Akbajori uh, to use his jab, uh, keep the jab to the face. You know what I mean? Like, just like uh, Ajakba did it. Ajakba actually de de demolished this guy. He destroyed this guy's face. You know, he made this guy bleed. This guy, he's really a guy that comes to fight. I don't know if he's on the juice or not, but this guy is a Mexican warrior. Or you can see right here from USA, but he's a guy who has Mer Mexican heritage. Uh, just like uh, Andrew Jr. And he's a guy who looks like Andrew Jr., you know, body wise. But he comes to fight and he has one hell of a chin and I, I don't think he has been dropped has he been dropped no i don't think this guy's been dropped this guy's never been dropped ajakba knocked him out but did ajakba drop them ajakba did not actually drop this guy did he i have to go rewatch that about again um i watched it live before and i haven't rewatched it um ever since but this was a very good fight you know so it'll be very interesting to see what happens. Uh, uh, Joshua will have to learn some stuff for sure. Uh, do I believe and the Virginia beats Joshua? Nah, man. In the rematch, Joshua beats Virginia. Easy, easy, easy work for Joshua. But Joshua needs to come with a head game. No more, no more coming and trying to uh, play it safe. No, because if he loses the next bout, is going to be. Uh, devastating for his career not for me because me i will continue to support our champ forever man no doubt about that but you know the british media will go in hard on him again you know american media already hate joshua they're gonna go in hard this time around but if joshua wins the fight and when he wins the fight his name is gonna be through the roof and i know the british media will join the hype again but joshua already know how the british media huh you know especially the main i'm talking about the mainstream media not the ones uh, you know on youtube or you know you know the ones on youtube tend to support joshua some of them don't but a lot of them uh, are you supporters of joshua you know what i mean but the ones the mainstream media you know the mainstream media in the uk you know i i've turned their back on joshua you know tessifir is not their savior so they leaning towards as if you're more now than they lean towards joshua but joshua still bring the catch Joshua still brings the the audience testing fury sold about five thousand ticket tickets uh, in this uh, us uh, uh, las vegas debut and they lied about it top rank lied about it saying there's nine thousand we know that now and as fury didn't do good numbers and the uk with a home pay-per-view didn't joshua do does a lot huge amount of a huge amount of that and the next bout against uh, Ruiz is going to be even bigger. A lot of people want to definitely awake towards that fight. I myself would be away towards that fight since now we know the fight in my head to Las Vegas is a pity because if it was in the UK, it would have been more easier for me to just drive and go there and, you know what I mean, go there. But it's not and it's very crazy and it's very sad, man. So we we'll see what happens, guys. Uh, give a toss below. Do you agree with uh, Jagba or oh, you don't? You know what I mean? For me, 
I agree to, to I agree with some of what he said, and I disagree as well with some of what he said. You know, I mean, I believe Joshua stops or at boss and Virginia, you know, in the rematch. Uh, and I believe Joshua learned from his mistake and learned from his um, from his failures as well. Why? You know what I mean? So just it. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to talk too much. Give it us below, guys. Uh, like the video, share, and please don't follow us on the channel. Go follow me on Instagram at Boxing Block Center. Follow me on Twitter at Boxing Block, and follow me on Facebook at Boxing Block Center. Guys, stay blessed, stay hungry, stay humble. Cheers.